you doing ladies and gents, girls and boys, it's Danny Stewart from BasicPowerDirect.com here with another Naked Sound Review. And you just heard me just uh, getting uh, back to grips with uh, some of my uh, old six string stuff um, that I used to do when I was uh, doing demonstrations for STR and stuff. Um, and uh, I'm on this uh, wonderful sounding uh, bossa. This is an OB6 from the early uh, mid 90s. So we're talking like 1993 or 4 or 1995, something like that uh, for manufacturer year. Um, you'll notice that the logo is a bit different to their later logo. Um, and uh, apart from that, though, the design is the same. Headstock sh shape is the same um, and the OB body is, is the same. Um, dial layout is the same. It doesn't have the uh, mode switch um, that it used to have, but uh, that it had later on. Um, I think from uh, uh, I think from something like uh, I think that was introduced in maybe ninety six or ninety seven or something. They uh, started using the Tune preamp then at that point as well, uh, which was the GPZ2 preamp. Um, this is the an original preamp, and the cavity is different on the back. It's not as big as the later models. Later models were running on a nine volt circuit. I think this, uh, sorry, an eighteen volt circuit. I think this is nine. Um, however, if you really want to have that. Um, mode switch i can install one in here for you it's basically um it's it's basically a series parallel switch that works uh between pickups when you're in that mode your balancer puts it into series or parallel essentially um so you get different tonal sets coming out um when you're in that mode and then you can flip it back to normal mode and you'll get your uh, regular panning properties. So you heard me just playing at the beginning there uh, one of my original pieces, um, which is called Fragile World, um, um, which uh, is available for streaming uh, at the link below if you're interested in hearing it. Um, but it's been a long time since I've played that music. Um, I really should get back into it six string uh, again because I wrote a hell of a lot of stuff for um, demonstration purposes and whatnot um, so that's the front pickup and anyway. uh, that's uh, the balance setting anyway and then if you cut the mid out for a more scoop sound Equation, uh, just have the bass and the treble, uh, bass and mid boosted.
nice uh, on the rear pickup, front pickup, um, just with everything dialed up. Take the treble out of the equation. of tones on this beautiful thing um, and uh, another uh, feature on the older bossa is the placement of the jack um, so it's deliberately placed further towards the tailpiece rather than at the side and this is so that it's not so easy to unplug accidentally like by you know sometimes if you step on your cable uh, you might unplug yourself accidentally. Uh, so you often see bassists or guitarists looping this, the cable through their strap so as to prevent that from happening. Um, it doesn't always uh, work necessarily. And you, uh, I mean, even with this, you could still theoretically step on your cable and damage it. Um, but it's not going to pull out. Um, it's not going to just fall out of the jack socket if you do that. So um, that's part of the reason for that design, I believe. Um, and uh, yeah, because it doesn't really matter. Um, they could have put it at the side. So that's purely, um, I think that was the intention behind it. So, but I like that. I think that's a good feature. Um, the, uh, the only thing that is slightly inconvenient about that is if you, if you don't use a stand and you just want to lean it while well, it's still got the cable plugged in, you can't do that because the, it'll damage the, the cable. But if you're using a stand, um, of course, it's perfectly fine. Um, it's on stand now. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, it's an absolute beauty. Thoroughly recommend it. Um, I don't think that's going to stick around for very long, um, so being uh, it's very rare and it's in really nice condition. Alright guys, that'll do it. I'll see you again for the next Naked Sound Review soon. Cheers!